welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is a segment where we look at some of the hottest floor plans on the market today. I'm standing inside a brand new entry in the travel trailer segment from Cruiser RV. This is the Avenir 29RK, just one of the new models that they're building. This is their rear kitchen, and that's where I'm standing, in the back of the RV, in the kitchen. This is a very well equipped kitchen for the price point. We've got a lot of things going on that I like. For example, they've done a lot with the stainless steel here. We have an apron front stainless steel sink with that nice high rise faucet with an extendable wand, just making it really easy to clean up prep work from the kitchen at the end of the day. We've got storage all up high in the form of cabinetry and some drawers and storage points down low. We've got a graystone microwave, that three burner stove with the oven beneath it, and that glass cooktop that's really just gonna help extend our space and countertop when we're prepping food. This has an Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. It's very spacious, certainly gonna hold lots of food and drink for our longer trips. And of course, this is stacked with this awesome pantry in the back corner. We've got that automatic light that comes on up high. I think this is a great spot to keep all kinds of chips and other goodies. For dining, we have a booth dinette. This does have storage below it. When we lift up the pads, there's a little opening point that we can pull out. And this can drop down and form a bed. That brings us into our living room. As we step forward towards the entry door, we are in kind of a combined living room kitchen space. We have the slide, which is flush floor that goes out and it contains both that dinette and the sofa. The sofa is a tri-fold. It easily pulls out into another bed to accommodate guests. The living room has this really nice accent light that runs the length of the slide. Also, all of our windows have these nice roller shades. And then we have independent recliners that are directly across from it. Being independent, they can move around, they can face the TV location, which is right behind me here. We've got a space for a very large flat screen. We've got a nice little fireplace down low. It's electric, that's gonna put out a lot of heat. Some storage and a little sound bar to boot. Now this is equipped with an air conditioner that's ducted up high and we've got LED lights running throughout. As we pass our entry door and head down the hallway, we come to the bathroom. The bathroom is one of the first things you see as you come up inside and it's pretty spacious. It has a nice large shower surround with a little skylight slash vent up high. There's storage built into the wall, a big mirror on the back side little sink but there's a lot of counter space there. Up above the toilet they've given us a spot to keep your extra toilet paper and a few accessories as well as a few hooks for hanging up towels and robes. Leaving the bathroom and heading down the hall we end up heading into the front of the trailer where we have our main bedroom. This is equipped with a queen bed. And we have traditional travel trailer storage in the sense that we have hanging closets on either side and a nice big shelf up top. Now there is some space to set up at the front of these closets if you wanted to put down like a little alarm clock or something and there's plugs on both sides. We can also access the inside of the closet from the pillow point of the bed. At the foot of the bed, we have some more storage just built into that dead space on the back side of the bathroom. This opens up to reveal some shelving that can potentially be removed for more space. The bed itself lifts up and reveals even more storage. Let's take you up towards the control panel because what I want to do now is run the slide in so that we can see what's accessible at a quick pit stop. They put the control panel right here at the foot of the island. This is where we're gonna check for our tank levels. We're gonna be able to run our awning in and out, cut our water heater on and off, cut the cabin lights on, and also run that slide. Let's bring it in. There it is. And with the slide in, you can see that we don't have a lot of accessibility when it comes to the kitchen. I can reach the sink, 
but I'm not getting into that pantry or my refrigerator without running that slide out. However, I can get to the bedroom and the bathroom with ease. So that's kind of nice. So quick pit stop to use the bathroom, not a problem. Making lunch, you might need a little space to run the slide out a foot or two so that you can jump back there and grab a few things. Let's run the slide back out, step outside, and check out some of the features there. Stepping outside of the Avenir, we've got a few things going on on the patio side. Towards the front of the camper, we have a larger than average pass-through storage. The door is more than twice the height of a lot of other travel trailers in its class. It's an insulated baggage door with magnetic catches. Down low, we have four stabilizer jacks at each corner. They're manual, so they run down. Pretty quick and easy, especially if you have a drill in the right attachment. The glass entry door gives it a clean, modern look and really goes well with the graphics package. Up high, we have an electric awning that runs a large portion of the length of the trailer. It's lit up by an LED light bar and it runs out at the touch of a button. All of the Avenirs have an outside refrigerator as a standard feature. At the rear of the camper, we have a square tube bumper with a spare tire mounted. There is the main power and shoreline in ready to go. And up high, we have pre-wiring for a backup camera. Because this is a rear kitchen, we actually have two sewage connections. At the rear of the camper on the off door side, we have the dump for the gray water from the kitchen. And forward of the slide, we have the primary waste relief for our main gray tank and the black tank. Our water connections are also located on the off door side towards the front of the camper. We have our city water connection and our black tank flush. This is right next to a handy spray port in case we've got to clean things up. At the very front of the camper, we have an electric tongue jack and our propane connections. You'll also notice at the front of the camper that there's a secondary plug-in point for a Furion solar panel. Overall, the Avenir 29RK is an awesome choice for couples or solo travelers that are on the go. With its clean, modern looks, tons of storage, and lots of really smart and well-placed amenities, I think it's something that a lot of people are really going to love when they see it. Speaking of seeing it, see it for yourself in person at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. We're right between exits 216 and 218 on I-75. You can check us out online at southernrv.com or give us a call with any questions at 770-477-0552. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps a small channel like ours. And until next time, folks, happy camping.